launch? Well, here's a worst case scenario for the European debt crisis. According to Namira Holdings, banks globally could lose as much as $900 billion if a number of European countries have to restructure their debt. Regulators are giving stress tests to European banks to see if they can survive potential losses on sovereign bond holdings. Joining us now is Jerome Vandenbroek. He is the head of developed markets credit strategy at ING Bank, and he is joining us now from Amsterdam. Jerome, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Will tests meet investors' needs? I read some of your research. It seems that you're pretty skeptical. Yeah, absolutely. We are skeptical. The market is skeptical. I think the most important thing is that the, uh, there is a differentiation in these tests and the differentiation should really highlight the good, the bad and the ugly banks. Having stress tests basically means that there should be uh, a classification as an outcome and there's, not all banks can pass a, a stress test. The criteria should be uh, believable, they should be acceptable and uh, there should be action that can be taken on the back of these, uh, of these ba uh, if the banks fail these particular so, tests. Jerome, when you say believable and credible, are you worried that the tests aren't strong enough? I mean, we're taking a look at uh, some concern about haircuts on sovereign debt. I'm just going to cite a few figures here. Bloomberg reporting that tests with a model loss on 17% on Greek bonds, 3% on Spanish bonds. Now, the EU hasn't disclosed those levels officially. The market is clearly pricing those lower. How worried about haircuts are you that they're not strong enough? Uh, that is one of the main elements, I think, the, where the tests uh, fall short. Um, the, um, the haircut needs to be substantially larger. If it is a stress test, we have to assume real times of stress, not levels uh, where the market was at the beginning of May, because that's in essence what the CEBS is doing. They've highlighted that in their, in their own statement, that they are looking back to the stress scenario of early May. It could get worse than that, so they should take more than 17% on Greek debt. A lot of Greek How debt is already more, trading Jerome? below 17%. Can you put a percentage on it? To be quite honest, they should be looking in excess of 50% rather than 17 Five zero. on Greek debt specifically. Okay, what do you think about Spanish debt? Five zero, exactly. And what do you think about well, Spanish, Spanish debt? Well, Spanish debt is a different case in point. Um, Spanish debt is a different case in point. Uh, um, there, uh, I think the need for an ex exceptionally high um, uh, haircut is less acute. Uh, the situation in that market is very different. Um, the uh, Bank of Spain has been, uh, has been very proactive. Uh, besides which, uh, if you look where Spanish debt is trading at the moment, it's not trading in most cases substantially below par, not to the, uh, to the degree that you should be looking at a scenario of having uh, a haircut above 10% in any case. All right, Jerome, thanks so much. Jerome Vandenbroek joining us there. He is head of developed markets credit strategy at ING Bank.